of how we're probably having inbuilt inverter, we're told that we have five kilowatt and 10 kilowatt models, but that can be changed in the unit itself. So does that mean that down the line, I could change my power will probably come from, from a five kilowatt to a 10 kilowatt? Yeah, it does mean that, but I haven't had a chance to do that at this point in time. But what I think will happen is that it'll be set as a five for some reason. If that needs to be changed to a 10, most likely I would imagine we'd have to contact Tesla. They would have to go into the system, unlock it for recommissioning again, and then it would have to be recommissioned at, at the new 10. The reason why you have an um, inverter limit is because it may be set by your DNSP. So um, SA Power Networks, as an example, might grant approval for your house to have a five kilowatt inverter for some reason on a three phase site. Um, it might be appropriate to do that. Um, in which case you would do that. Um, down the track, you might want to unlock the 10 kilowatts. Then it's not for the customer to unlock and it's not for us just to just rock back in the next day and do. I would say we would need to have another application probably with SA Power Networks and we'll need to um, involve Tesla in some unlock, unlock process is how I reckon it'll play out.